Before caretaker, um, we were doing manual uh, vitals, uh, meaning uh, nurses would, would uh, periodically go into a patient's room and, uh, and uh, you know, take blood pressure and uh, so forth. And, and that was uh, uh, unfortunately problematic uh, for our treatments, in, uh, which, which, which for which, you know, uh, not disturbing a patient is, is really uh, very, very uh, valuable and a primary um, uh, point of, of what we try to, uh, setting we try to create. So, um, it was uh, highly suboptimal. Um, and in fact, it was becoming quite an issue with each of our patients. Um, it, was, uh, it was pretty typical for us to have to uh, go through negotiations with them. They would try, they, they would be asking for no blood pressures uh, or when, when that was off the table, you know, can we, can we reduce the, 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 the frequency of the uh, blood pressures because uh, uh, because they clearly were experiencing it as a uh, as a as a um, detriment to their experience and in in this type of treatment the the experience of the patient plays a role in the outcome so we were faced with a dilemma on the one hand we wanted to keep uh, people uh, patients safe and uh, and be able to monitor their their uh, vitals and blood pressure. On the other hand, we also knew that that came at a cost uh, in terms of the uh, the patient experience and therefore the ultimate therapeutic effects. And so, um, having kind of facing this every every time every with every patient, you know, uh, this pushback about getting those uh, those uh, blood pressure and vitals. I started to look for alternatives. Is there something out there where we could get this information but not have to, you know, uh, uh, intrude and uh, open the door and, 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 and pump up a, a cuff and, and so forth? And um, I came across uh, a caretaker and, uh, and uh, I, I thought this could be uh, just, you know, just what we we're looking for.